Hello all. Today I'm going to be uh, taking a look at uh, Ubuntu 1304. Uh, it's not out yet. This is an alpha release. Uh, it's not due until April 25th. So a month and a half or almost two months away. However, uh, if you've used Ubuntu since version 11, uh, this interface looks familiar. I notice the dash has a different icon here. Everything else behaves basically the same. Uh, it is pretty snappy. I was able to install uh, VMware tools inside the VMware player. As you can see, it's uh, running in 3D mode. And I do have Compiz turned on for that. Okay, uh, quick note on this. Uh, I'll do another Ubuntu release schedule. And speaking of which, uh, this is version uh, 19 of Firefox, not 19.0.1, just 19. Okay, so as of this video, we're kind of between here and here. So in five days or so, it's going to have the features, feature freeze. And you're looking through beta 1 release, final beta uh, release and freeze. Uh, day apart, apart basically, and the final yes is uh, scheduled for April 25th, and so we're sort of like between 12:04 and 13:04. Okay, as far as uh, other things, not much has really changed yet. Uh, system settings basically the same. Um, about. This computer, I can't remember that was in version 12.10. Just gives you an idea. Don't forget, this is a virtual machine. I gave it four cores. So I opened, uh, I'll open System Monitor. You see here. Uh, not bad on the memory. Uh, you know, in today's world. Uh, file system, I just left it as default. Extension 4, 3.8 gigabytes. Resources, processors. And yeah, there's. Again, I can't remember. Uh, there's the About tab is missing, so kind of interesting. Um, Software Center. I'll give you a look at that. It's basically the same as it's been for a while, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And uh, I noticed I type in the Unity, for example, and there you go. Uh, you can remove the Amazon shopping lens. Uh, the reason I do it mainly is because it's completely useless in my country. It just doesn't. Um, yeah, I don't need it. So you can uninstall it right from the Ubuntu Software Center. Again, I'm not sure if that was in the past. I also installed uninstalled the Ubuntu One Music Store. And after a few reboots, uh, those icons didn't come back like they did in 12.10 for some reason. Uh... What else is there? Lots of usual your uh, recent applications, and you can set your privacy. So let's go to the installed apps. You can take a glance. Basically, the same stuff. I added in Compass uh, config settings, and I installed GIMP, which is uh, two point. Where to go? About 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 two point eight. Dot four in the software center is two point eight dot um, point two. So back to this calculator and stuff, files, Firefox, of course, and Gwibber, and you know, you know, the stuff. Uh, Office is at beta uh, four, beta two, or something. Let's see, about yeah, beta two. And basically the same sort of thing if you search for something like uh, Kazam, right click on it, it gives you, sometimes it gives you an image preview and sometimes it doesn't. Or you can just download it straight from uh, inside the dash, as we've seen before. Uh, home folder, folders, I guess this looks a little different, I'm not sure. Seems to 
Unfortunately, well, depends who you are and what your needs are. About files, it's Nautilus 3.6. Not really thrilled about that. I'd rather have uh, them, maybe maybe they will, fork uh, Nemo or something or, or as a desktop file manager. Uh, I've added a couple of things uh, from Synaptic, which I had to install, which is no problem. Um, open terminal, so you can open terminal from anywhere. And uh, examples. I installed uh, GNOME Sushi, which worked fine out of the box. So you just uh, single click on something and then hit the space bar and whatever it is, a video or audio will start playing. And for uh, a new document, I think the best place to go for this, honestly, is Arch. Yeah, Arch. Where to go? Uh, the wiki. This explains how to uh, get that. It's very simple, though. Lotless. Uh, create an empty document. Very simple. You just put this in the terminal. Touch. The tilde or squiggly line, whatever you want to call it. There's another term for that too. Uh, touch and then templates new, new, and then you restart Nautilus or whatever, and of course you'll have the create new document. It's probably an Ubuntu documentation documentation as well, or somebody on the forums. But I just thought this would be the quickest way to find out. Uh, as you can see, I removed a bunch of stuff that I don't use from the side panel here. Uh, change desktop background or the desktop settings. Um, I don't think any of these wallpapers are new yet. Uh, launcher size, you can change that. Defaults 48, up to 64, down to 32. 37 seems to be good when I'm in the 1920 resolution. Uh, behavior, <coughs> I think this is new. Uh, you can check enable workspaces and check add show desktop. So enable workspaces and it's just a single click with your left click button. Um, I think whereas before you had to right click or I'm not sure. And show desktop on there and for, there it goes on and off. So a couple of neat things and you can auto hide of course. What else was there? Oh yeah, if you right click on dash home application files for social, which I don't see down here, but there's a social here, but there's nothing yet. It's probably because I haven't signed up for any online accounts, which in system settings is here. And you get that legal notice again. Um, I think that's about it as far as... Uh, anything so it looks like 12.10 ish um, things uh, with along along with a few little nice little uh, add-ons and stuff so far and memory seems fine and it boots up not bad um, probably all the debugging and stuff that's going on uh, so software center we looked at system monitor um, Firefox you can download Chrome, Chromium or whatever, or add a repository for um, Google Chrome, etc. Same sort of thing. You can get a YouTube downloader, uh, command line, and stuff you could before. So I just thought I'd take a quick look in retrospect and be able to look back in retrospect uh, how things have changed uh, in the final release and going forward. So that's about it for now. And, and uh, any comments, questions, feel free to add them, and uh, have a good one, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.